It's impossible to look manly while drinking out of this. Right, Jeremy? You look like a little girl. What's up, bro? What's going on? You watched the game last night? Dude, Ray Lewis sucks. I'm an idiot. Adam, this is what we do on our day off. <laughs> we, um. Oh, what else can I do? Can I pull, like, my chest hair out? Well, I don't even have any chest hair. You don't hair, have any chest hair? Jeremy, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take my shirt off and start showing it in the mirror. Yeah, uh, I, I have, like, some axe here, huh? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna show you how to do it. What's up, dude? Am I manly at all? Can I look manly? <laughs> Hold, like, a wrench. I have deodorant, I can do that. Well, get a wrench or something. A wrench? Here, does this help? Oh, let me... <laughs> What's up, bro? There you go. This coffee is really good, though. You should put your pinky out. What's up, bro? <laughs> should we do a video update while this thing's going? Alright, that's a good idea. Do that. Yeah. Can you... Okay. This is, uh, we have three days left in Calcutta, um, or four. Um, this is our free day. Mm -hmm. uh, we might go view the Hindu temple and um, the Victoria Memorial. Just some cool things in Calcutta. Yeah. Um, interesting stories from this week, or the last couple of weeks you want to um, share? Yeah, there's so many. Um, what, what are some on oh, the top of my head? Uh, say something about Benoit. Benoit, okay, yeah, I, um, Benoit, the guy I've been teaching for the past, uh, three weeks, he's learning how to write sentences, and he's learning how to read, which is awesome, so I'm teaching this ten-year-old boy, uh, this orphan kid, who is just, just such a joy, he's awesome, teaching him how to read and write, which has been great, and, uh, there, there has been some crazy stuff that's happened so far on this trip, uh, we went to a leprosy center, and we hung out with some of, uh, the lepers, which is crazy. This dude was getting, like, his. Oh, <laughs> this guy was getting his leg, like, cut while we were just sitting there. Oh. Like, it was so. Ah! They, like, had a scalpel and were cutting his foot, like, the, the leprosy from his foot. It was, it was crazy. And, um, uh, the other day, uh, we got to, um, have a worship time at Mother Teresa's tomb. And there was probably, like, a hundred people there. And they asked me to lead worship, which was just. Just mm -hmm. amazing. Never had anything like that before. It was, it was crazy. So um, that was really cool. God gave me that opportunity. And um, what else has been going on? Um, met a lot of awesome people. Like we met Stephen. Yeah, Stephen. Tell me about Stephen. Uh, Stephen was some random guy I ran in, or I ran into when I was trying to meet Adam. And then like I was walking down the street with him, and Adam just appeared out of nowhere. And um, he uh. Uh, we he was already a Christian, but um, he we hopefully got to help him get a job. Mm -hmm. um, uh, at the shelter, I help with the OBG. He's a uh, I don't know what he, he has like spasticity or something. Um, we just do and cerebral palsy too. I think. And, yeah, cerebral palsy. So I just do exercises and just help with whatever I can. Um, help feed him and stuff. Um, what else do we do? It's been. There's been like, it's so hard to like compile them all in one second. Uh, yeah. We didn't have this video planned, so it's kind of spur of the moment. But yeah, uh, we we've been able to give food to just a ton of different people, just handing out food. Shank, yeah. we just give food out and say Jesus. Um, mm -hmm. that guy Stephen, we helped out. He he moved from this place called uh, Vernassi, which is just like a crazy, godless place. He moved there from train and came to Calcutta with like 40 rupees in his pocket, which is like a dollar, and yeah. um. We were to help him out and help him get a job as a security guard, and um, we've just been just trying to reach out to people, hang out with the kids, really just give this city some hope somehow. Um, and there's just been story after story. Those are some of the quick highlights, I'd say. Yeah. Well, what's been your favorite memory that you can think of? My favorite memory. Yeah. Oof. 
Oh, that's tough on the spot. That's tough on the spot, right? Uh, yeah. We haven't, like, honestly, we haven't processed everything because yeah. every day something crazy happens yeah. and just to, we have to write it down and process, okay, well, this is what happened today and yesterday was crazy too and mm -hmm. there were so many things that happened. Um, we've been able to share the gospel with, like, uh, a bunch of random people will just eat at a restaurant and they'll hear yeah. speaking English and they'll just want to talk. And we'll, uh, yeah. One thing that's kind of heartbreaking is um, it's a really relativistic culture here and everybody that believes in God is going to heaven and mm -hmm. there's like a hundred paths to heaven and so we have to be like well there's only one absolute truth you can't say oh I'm right and he's right you know and it just breaks my heart because everyone's like oh he's right and I'm right too and uh, relativism has really infiltrated India um, it's really hard like because there's so many people are in need yeah. and you can't like we can't help every single one yeah but, yeah dude I, w I almost cried in the street the other day because I was like surrounded by yeah. Four women with their children in their hand, their babies in their hand, begging me for money, and I didn't have any money to give. I didn't have enough, and I had. I just gave them what I could. I gave them like a bunch of food, mm -hmm. but like just to have four people surrounding you, begging you, and you can't do anything. I, I was just like, I was almost had tears in my eyes in the middle of the street. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have a ton more. We'll we'll, we'll have like a planned yeah. presentation, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we'll we'll be writing letters to everyone and telling them what happened. But um, those are just some of the quick tidbits of what's happened. And uh, we've just been so blessed by being here. Not only have just we've been able to affect the lives of others, but man, I have been changed by this trip. God is so refining me. Just finding joy in just tough situations. You know, working with a kid for a month, and no one gives you a high five, no one shakes your hand, and, and you just help this kid to read, and he has no one who loves him, and just finding joy in that every day, you know, moment by moment, that's where God really uses you, finding joy in him, and not in things or moments, you know, so God's been refining me in that, I think, so. Yeah, uh, I just learned a lot about, like, being content. Um, so it was really, I really had a hard time first adjusting here yeah. and uh, just getting used to everything. I got sick and it just like really took the motivation out of me. Um, but last couple, week or two, it's been going really well. Um, it's rained nonstop for the last like, week, but yes. it's, it's cooled down, so it's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and today, I think we're going to hand out some fruit to people and maybe wash some feet or just for random homeless people, which would be exciting. And we're going to see a Hindu temple. Which I'm excited about. So, pray for us, and uh, we love you. Love and you guys. Thanks for everything, thanks for the prayers, and um, we'll be home soon. So, bye. Bye. <laughs>